What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Ray, and I'm back with another Banger! Gang, gang, gang. So, today, gang, as you can see, I'm like chilling. Y'all could probably see like a little shoebox right there and a little good old little thing. So, today, let me move y'all over. Y'all might be crooked, but y'all get the point. Anyways, you guys, today I'm about to show you guys my $100,000 sneaker collection. If you like videos like this, make sure you go ahead and comment down below. Make sure you hit the bell notification to be notified anytime I decide to drop a banger video. Make sure you also go ahead and like the video, okay? I just wanna say again, thank you guys so much for the love and support that you have been giving me thus far. Also, make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok. Both all same have the same uh, tag on it in Ray's eyes, so make sure you guys follow me. All right, you guys, so today, 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 I am sweating. It's hot, y'all. So I don't know if y'all can hear this little fan I got going over here. I tried to turn everything off so it's not like going inside of the thing. It ain't a mukbang either, but I'm hungry. I ain't ate all day. I have been requested, but it's kind of rude. Hold on. So you guys, it has been requested of someone else for me to show some of my sneaker collection. Now I'm not gonna show you guys all of it because this will be a very long video. I uh, decided to show you guys a couple of my kicks. A lot of people have been paying attention to my videos. My kicks are always different, right? They're always different. I got on something that's like crazy or some colorway or some Jordan that they haven't seen before or so something like that, right? So it's been requested of me um, to go ahead and show my sneaker collection. So I have a story behind a few of them. I got boxes here, 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 and I got a box here. So I have a couple of stories behind them, but wait, let me go get something else. Wait, wait. Ah. All right, I'm back. So before we get into this video, let me just say this. Um, the shoes that I have, all of them were purchased retail. Okay, I, I'm okay. I'm good with like purchasing after sale, which is fine. But you really have to make sure you know who you're messing with. You know what I'm saying? It'd be some people out here selling some fake shoes. And if you live in Tennessee, you know, uh, this huge dude from LA not about to send you no sneakers in Bolivar, Tennessee or in, in Nutbush, Tennessee for, you know, whatever. And you finna make a $10 profit. That's just, that's just, stay with me. All right, stay with me. Most of my shoes are gonna be Jordans because I love Jordan. Uh, I have been a Jordan fan for a very long time. Uh, actually, I've been a, Iverson is my guy, okay? Allen Iverson was my guy, I heard the jersey. I used to rock my braids to the back, X, Y, Z, wada, 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 but I still love Jordan, all right? And let me just start where I got this like fetish for shoes, cause it's kind of like, not really weird, but it's a little off to have females that's really into shoes like I am. And uh, let me just tell y'all a, a quick little backstory, all right? I'm the youngest of four okay i'm like literally the baby of four okay my mom had me at like 30 she had everybody else 17 18 you know what i'm saying you she you know what i'm saying i am the baby so i have a lot of moms i have dads you know what i'm saying so i so i have all that so i'm i'm the baby anyways so my brother um me and him were like this at one once upon a time and he he just stayed clean you know what i'm saying he worked his job he had his at the time, he only had one kid, but uh, he worked his job and anywhere he went, I went. And that was, you know, at the at the beginning of time, you know what I'm saying, besides my, my sister, but that's a different story for another time. So we're talking about shoes today. Anywhere he went, I went. If he had on some nice shoes, guess what? I had on some nice shoes. If I wanted some shoes, guess what? He tried his best to get it. So when he moved out and I couldn't, depend on him to give me no shoes no more because he had two kids and a wife at the time uh i relied on my dad so my dad started to give me sneakers he i mean he was giving me sneakers as well with my brother because i was just telling him, hey dad i want some of these I'm, I'm my dad's only child so you can only imagine that i'm a female so you know yada 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 time goes on and i just fell in love with kicks i've had the irisons the red ones red gray and white ones i've had the blue and you know whatever color i've had air force ones i've had jordans i've had nikes i've had k swiss you know what i'm saying back in the day k swiss was that brand i've had adidas i had chucks i've i've had 
all types of shoes right so just over the time of course i've sold a lot of those shoes like the gamma 12s uh, and the taxi uh 12s i sold those as well so over time i've sold shoes and i've gained shoes and at that point i was like i ain't selling no more of my kicks because it's not what i want to do i am not a reseller i am alert i am not a reseller i am a buyer and a wearer okay i don't buy my shoes just for show i don't buy them just to say i got them i buy them because i genuinely love them you know? from from this day forward which is april 12th i can probably rock a, a different shoe every for, for the rest of the year okay just being honest all right let's start with this story so in the 10th grade um i'm not gonna tell my age but y'all can go google uh, in the 10th grade, I think it was the 10th, 9th or 10th grade, I really wanted these shoes, right? Everybody was coming out with them, blah, blah, blah. You know, I, everybody was getting the shoes. And I, me at the time, I just didn't know how to get the shoe. I would try everything. I went to the mall. Of course, people at the mall, they be lying with the raffles and stuff and everything. So, you know, I don't really mess with the people in the mall with the raffles. I get it online. If I don't get it online, I just don't get them. Anyway, so... I really wanted these shoes and I'll never forget, I couldn't get them. I was heartbroken. The next day, y'all know how y'all got the little, um, like back in the day, it was people at the gym on the bleachers with the same shoes. It was like, y'all be fighting and killing over these. Da, 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 da. I was that person, okay? I was that person. I was hurt. I was toe up. All right, I was toe up. So these first kicks I'm gonna show y'all, everybody has them now. I have not worn them yet. Okay, I don't even think I put my I, yeah I put my foot in them. Maybe I have worn them. I think I've worn them maybe once. Um, and these are, as you can see, the Cool Grays. Okay, Cool Gray Elevens, which the Elevens are some of my favorite shoes. The Elevens and Ones are my favorite Jordan brand. Okay, every other brand they just make my foot look ridiculous. So I don't know if y'all can see that color. I've laced them and everything else. I got these, of course, on the sneakers app. Let me, let me, get, get, y'all hold on one second. Cause I don't want nobody to come on my video be like, you, you, you got fake shoes. Cause I don't. And I, and I did. Who is we? Not me. Any, any sneaker head knows what sneakers app is amongst other apps. <laughs> uh, I have multiple apps. And on my sneakers app is what? The Cool Grays. The cool gray. So y'all can see, ain't no fakery in me. Okay. My Jordans be real and I don't have to cop and steal. All right. Now we're going to keep moving on to some more 11s. Okay. I don't know how many people still have these. And I can't, I can't provide a sneakers app for this. Right. And if you're a sneakerhead, you know. I, I don't even think sneakers app was out. Okay. I don't even think that was out. I was at the mall at two, three in the morning camping out for the kicks, waiting for my ticket if I didn't win a raffle. And they was always scamming with the raffles. Finish line workers, foot locker workers, foot action workers. Well, foot action gone out of business, I think. I forgot what these are called. But baby, as you can see, they is dirty. So, <laughs> so I've been wearing these bad boys. Y'all, I wore these out. Everybody was like, oh, they so dope. Then I messed up and, and did what? Look at that. Put on some blue jeans with the kicks. I, I haven't worn these in so long, but I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna bring these back out uh, sometime this summer. All right, I plan on being outside this summer, all right? Amen, amen, amen. Moving on to some more 11s. Moving on to some more 11s. I told y'all 11s was my favorite shoe. One of them, anyway. One of my favorite Jordans. So now we got these babies. Okay. And I know what y'all gonna say. They just the same, they the same shoe, different color. It don't matter. It don't matter. It, it ain't the same. They hit different. They even feel different when you put them on your feet. Part of that has to do with the make of the shoe and the material that they use or whatever to make the shoe. This is again, Another shoe that I cannot pull up on sneakers because sneakers went around, okay? Sneakers was not around, but these are real, all right? 
still got the original box, still still got everything. Forgot the name of these two. Just know they some 11. Y'all be cool. As you can see, I like to keep my shoes tight tee. All right, so let's take a break from the 11s, okay? And we're gonna keep it in the blue family, but we're gonna switch it on over to the 12s. Y'all, I really want these in the Cherry 12s, so I can't wait till they release in the, in the Cherry 12s. But the only thing is with 12s, man, they feel so bulky on my feet. Like, the ones, the dunks, the um, 11s, um, some, the 10s, the, you know, certain, certain shoes, certain Jordans look better on my feet. The 7s, they look good on my feet. They don't look too bulky and too wide. Um, these right here, the 4s, the 13s, they all make my foot look like, I mean, granted, I'm in a grown woman size. Uh, uh, size nine and a half, and me and 11, 11 head 12. That ain't none of y'all business. Stop, stop. See, that's what you're doing. You worried about my business. My business ain't your business. All right, all right. But I got these right here, and I think I got these back in 2014, 14, 15. I think I got these around the same time I was, I got the Gamma 12s and the Steel 10s. I sold them Johns, bro. I'm trying to buy a plane ticket. Different store for another day. So we're going back to the 11s because I love the 11s. I got so many pairs of 11s. I think I got a couple a couple more pair I'm going to show y'all. All right? So I got these. Love them. Love them. These are not the Space Gems. The Space Gems are back there in my room. These are the Concords. All right? Concord 11s. Still got them in the original box, huh? The box toe up, but you know, ain't no fakery around here. Then I got these joints right here. So let me tell y'all what I did for these. I ain't do nothing crazy. Uh-uh, I don't do that, because if I don't get them, guess what? You just don't get them, dog. You just don't get them. Folks be going crazy over these shoes. If I don't get them, I just don't get them. I'll wait till the next time. Or I pray that the Lord increase my money, so if I do go buy a resale at Cool Kicks in LA, Ain't gonna hurt my pockets, you know what I'm saying? So these are the 72 12s, 72 11s. Let me tell y'all what happened with these. So I went around, beautiful, right? Gorgeous shoe, gorgeous. I wore these shoes like crazy too. I was working at a call center when I um, bought these right here. But I had put in, at this time, like I said, it was, it was either raffle or first come, first serve. This was when people was real life like, getting killed over Jordans, man. Like they be sitting outside the line and people just like start shooting out of nowhere. So I went to my local store and then I took my time at the local mall, let me say that. Put in raffles at almost every shoe place that I actually got those. And then I went to Memphis, Tennessee, and I put in every for the store, Wolf Chase. It was Wolf Chase. Every store they would sell them in Wolf Chase, I put them in. So they were supposed to call you like that Thursday by like one o'clock before uh, the shoe releases on that Saturday. Y'all, I kid you not, every single store that I put in for, I won the raffle. Every, I had like 12 phone calls. And so what I did was I was getting paid that Friday. Here's a note for the youngest out there. I got paid that Friday and I was like, do I really want to do this? So I went to every store. I went down to Memphis. I got Memphis first. So I left, went to Memphis, came back, picked up the ones I got here. Sorry, I thought I saw a nap, but it was like dust. Picked up a um picked up the ones from here. And y'all, 11s are 220. Oh, was it 200? 220. It was something like that. The price ain't went down that much. And I don't even think it went down at all. Anyways, price is what it is. And I bought all 12 pairs with my check okay this is like my my first my first flipping moment you know what i'm saying i'm like yeah i'm, I'm balling you know what i'm saying work at a call center da, 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 da. i got a little bonus check and for the eh, 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 whatever so i go and buy the, i buy every pair of shoes every single pair y'all with my check the only with my check i don't get paid for two weeks i ain't had nothing to eat Baby at the house ain't got no shoe, no clothes. No, I'm just playing. But I, my, my two week check. 
And I kid y'all not, man. Every single pair that I bought, I sold them over retail. I think I sold each pair for about 400. The only person that got a deal from me was two coworkers and I sold them to them for like three. So at that at that moment, I thought I was uh, El Shuo. Uh, <laughs> El, the El Chapo of shoes, you know what I'm saying? Cause I had made a profit. I have never done that before. And actually let's take a break from Nike, from, from Jordan. These just right here, the Nike Hirachis, all right? Now, this is not my first pair of Nike Hirachis. These are actually pretty dirty. These are like my fourth pair, okay? They are super comfortable. I remember in my city when no one was wearing these, no one had them. Everybody kept asking me, well, hey, where you get your shoes from? Where you get your shoes from? I'm like, the mall, you know what I'm saying? And I had these, I had a black pair and I had another pair that had like, blue and orange something like that me and my nephew had a pair almost just alike you know what i'm saying we didn't buy them together but we almost had the same thing so the nike hirachis y'all these are like some beater shoes or some shoes like if i just want to if i know i'm gonna be outside in the grass but i still want that crispy look because from a from a distance them just is white nigga. <laughs> from a distance they white bro you cannot from a distance, they white, so you cannot tell. But um, yeah, I love these shoes. I got the black ones as well. My black ones, I use those to just do whatever. Um, and they are actually starting to stink because I'll be outside watering stuff and washing clothes and I mean washing cars and all that other stuff. My next shoe is the famous Vans. Now again, I was one of the first ones. Mm, that was hard. I was one of the first ones, maybe in my CD to wear them, and especially in my church. Everybody kept asking me where I got these. And I was like, Journeys? Nobody shot their Journeys. But I definitely got these at Journeys, and at the time they were like $45. Okay? And I think, I'm not sure if the song Bands was out yet. Got my Vans on, but they look like sneakers. Got my Vans on, but they look like sneakers. Eh. I'm trying not to make the video long. This y'all already at 21 minutes. We finna be here for an hour. Y'all stay tuned, cause I got some heat. But, yeah. Gotta, you gotta have a classic pair of Vans in your collection, all right? If you don't have one, you're lame, okay? Even if they dirty, they, they look better dirty. Sometimes. Sometimes. All right, so we're going to keep it away from Jordan. And we're going to bring these joints out. Now, before y'all start getting on my head, yes, these are Granny Ray shoes. And I, I literally have no reason why I made this Granny Ray shoe. <laughs> Other than it was shitting in my shoe box along with some um, New Balances that I have. And I was like, ooh, that could be Granny shoe. Now, Sacconi's. Sacconi and New Balance are like one and the same and back in the day no one no one all right no one really liked the Sacconis no one really liked the New Balance but guess what I did I did only thing you have to do is fix your laces man have them stand out a little bit and they went very very well with clothes um I had New Balances I had the Sacconis a lot of people may not even know what Sacconis is they know what A6 is but A6 Sacconis and A6 are basically like the same thing just different brands in my opinion in my opinion i got these right here i got these also in memphis i remember when i bought these dude was like you sure you want them i was like yeah they dope they fly why not so i got these we're going back to jordan all right we're going back to jordan so the implements the flu games man the flu games man I'm from Tennessee, so I'm going to say Maine. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Tennessee, so I'm going to say Maine. But uh, these right here, I, I wore these. I actually wore these when I first got my, my new truck um, in 2020. Didn't expect it at all. But I had these on when I got them. And y'all, these are some of my favorite kicks. Yes, the 12s look very bulky. But to know the symbolization behind the flu game shoe, one of my favorites. The bread. I remember this shoe vividly. Cause I had just, I ain't gonna tell y'all that. 
but I had just accomplished something really, really big. And my aunt gave me money for that accomplishment. And I bought two pair of these, no, three pair of these. I bought uh, my nine and a half, the size that I wear. I bought an eight and a half and a nine. And I kid you not, I was walking around with the bag and dude was like, I'll buy them right now. Each pair for 500. I told y'all these, these, these is like $220, all right, 220. So you do the math. Double my money, almost tripled it. The breads, and those are, I think those came, oh. Dang, I got so many. I got so many boxes over, y'all can't even see the boxes that I got up here, but I got a lot of boxes over there. But those came out, I think in like 2012, 2013. Those are not the ones that were like, re-released like a, like months later. Again, y'all, we are gonna move away from Jordan, all right, Jordan 11s and stuff like that. And we're gonna go to the GOAT. One of the GOATs, I believe. Uh, I remember watching him, man, and learning that we had the same birthday. August 23rd, Virgo season, stand up Virgos. Uh, I remember getting his like card in like middle school and I just remember feeling like, oh man, you know, me and Kobe got the same birthday. As a woman, we, you know. So I remember, you know, just having that feeling like, oh my gosh, and seeing Kobe and, and, and seeing him in it, playing against Jordan and seeing him playing against Iverson and seeing him playing against XYZ, I remember, man. And when he died, I was at church and, uh, my fr one of my friends was like, you didn't see the news about Kobe? And I'm thinking that it's a hoax, you know what I'm saying? Cause at that time it was so many hoaxes going on. People saying people don't die and they ain't really die. And it was just too much going on. All right, it was just too much going on. And when I tell you that broke my heart, y'all, this is this, this is not my first pair of uh, Kobe's. It's actually my second pair of Kobe's, but this is a pair of Kobe's that I told myself I would not wear. I got these before he died. So, um, any releases that's coming out now, I probably, I'm, I'm scared to buy. All right, just to be honest with you, cause they're probably gonna keep releasing and whatever else, but these were bought before he passed away. And uh, I have his jersey, I actually had his jersey on for my birthday. And yeah, rest in peace Kobe, rest in peace Gianna, and rest in peace to everyone else who lost their lives. Without further ado, we got the Kobe's. Again, these are not my first pair of Kobe's. And as you can see in the back, these has never been worn. I have never worn these shoes. When I got them, for some, re for some reason, dude, I was supposed to hoop in these. I was actually getting back in the, like, getting back in the gym and starting to hoop because I, I play ball. And I was supposed to hoop in these, but I could never put them on, all right? Never put never put my foot inside of this shoe. I've never put my foot inside this shoe. And I really wish that he was alive today to actually sign this. Cause I just knew that I was gonna meet Kobe. Even though his signature is right there. See that? Even though his signature is right there, I just knew at some point I was gonna meet, like meet him face to face, not see him on the court, not see him in, you know, at a game or something like that. All of that. And I just knew and when that happened, man, first of all, that trickled everything it's like everything went downhill from that point forward so rest in peace Kobe rest in peace um I love you I miss you I love your books I love your inspirational talks you, you have helped me with some self-development all right moving on don't want to get sad I find this funny I'm gonna pop the shoe up boom it's a flip-flop as you can see what the name says it says Gucci y'all if y'all look at that I want y'all to see that that's real. So when I first put these flats, these 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 slides on, first of all, I wanted the shoe that everybody got already had, right? The one with the little stripes in the middle, uh, white, black, whatever. And I remember being at the Gucci store in Nashville, and dude was like, "Why are you gonna be like everybody else?" And I was like, "I don't. I like them right there." But then right there, fifteen hundred dollars. I'm not gonna spend fifteen hundred dollars for no slide. Okay. I ain't got it like that right now. I, I just ain't got it. Okay, now maybe when I get it, you know what I'm saying, maybe I'll do it. 
So many people ask me, where'd you get your shoes? Who your plug? Where'd you get this from? Where? I was like, Gucci? They was like, nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. I know the brand, but where you get the shoe from? Gucci? No, no, no. I mean, like, did you, did you, like, go through a vendor? Gucci, man? <laughs> like, no. I went to actually Gucci. Um, and I wish I had, like, still had the receipt. I'm pretty sure I do. You know you gotta post your seats cause folks be like, ah, she capping, she capping. No caperoni, okay? No caperoni. And uh, I bought these in like September of last year. Cause I remember I was just getting back from, um, I was just getting back from uh, Atlanta. I was just getting, Labor Day weekend. I was just getting back from Atlanta and me and my nephew went into Gucci. He had a little money in his pocket. And he was like, TT, I want to get this. And I was like, it, I was like, hold up. Before you get it, just let you know it, it's, it's real. If you're not going to take care of it, you don't need to get it. You don't need to spend your money. I mean, it's your money. Do what you want, what you please. And, um, you know, he was like, TT, I, I really want it. You know, this is not fresh. So he had bought him a clip. And I bought me some Gucci flip flops. All right. Shout out to Gucci in Nashville, Tennessee. I messed with y'all a long way. Dude, he made me feel so secure and everything else. I really want to show y'all these right here. What size is that, a Oh, I really want to show y'all these. I was going to try to stay away from Jordan 11s right now, but I really want to show y'all these because I don't see too many of these and I hope y'all never re-release them no more. Bam. Woo. The coldest. I want rappers two times with these jeans too. You dig what I'm saying? Do you dig what I'm saying? No, you don't. You don't dig me. You don't dig me. Do y'all comment down below if you digging me? That's all. I, I can't even say nothing on them. Next, we are gonna stay away from Jordan since I touched this box, and I'm gonna show y'all these. Woo! Y'all already seen the bottom. Look at that, boy. You gotta have a, you gotta have a crisp, a crisp pair. You got to have a crisp pair. All right. Of course, these are the Air Force Ones with the bubble gum bottom. Me and my friend, me and CW, as, as you guys know him, but Vante, uh, we went to California together. For the, I think we, I think it was both our first times. If it wasn't his first time, it was mine. Okay. And went for the first time and I was going for some business and stuff like that. I hope I can move there, y'all. I really want to move to California. Went there for the first time. We was like, we, we wanted some shoes together. We was like, we gonna get this or we gonna get this. And so we went to Cool Kicks and Cool Kicks was busting heads. I'm talking about, and I want, I want trying to, I want trying to spend all that money to bust no heads. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, let's get these. And we went into the store, y'all. And they just didn't have my size. Okay, they did not have my size. And I was like, man, he's like, I'm gonna get him. He's like, you get him, you get him. I was like, man, I don't wanna care about that. You, you know what I'm saying? You X, Y, and Z, I'm trying to get these too. Anyways, fast forward a couple months down the road. Nike had them on sale. I picked them up. All right, speaking of, I'm finna get into uh, some ones. I, I told y'all that ones were some of my favorite sneakers. So I'm about to get into some ones, all right? These right here, babe, oh, y'all can't even see the color. Hold up. There you go. That sea foam. Stupid. Never put my foot in them, but I laced them. Y'all comment down. If y'all a sneakerhead and you're watching this video and you made it this far, can you comment down below and let me know if I'm like lacing these junks right? I think I am, but it's multiple ways that you can lace ones. So my next one is <laughs> these baby right here. Let me tell y'all something about these. I wasn't even trying to get these. I wanted the, um, I think it was like, I it was some more that came out right before these and they were blue and whatever else color. Oh, I forgot what the name of those was, but I wasn't even trying to get them and I snagged them. Shout out to Sneakers app. If I need to show y'all proof again, matter of fact, I'm just going to show y'all proof of the kicks that I got on Sneakers just so y'all can see, you know what I'm saying? There they go right there. Bam. Just, you know, what's that? The Fresh Princess? I, that should have been the first shoe I showed y'all. And them shoes on there one mine. It was the orange and white shoe. Anyways, um, so I, I got these. I love these. 
these are some summer these are summertime kicks you know spring summertime in my opinion no winter spring summer show y'all some more ones that y'all probably slept on but i didn't sleep <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all some more ones that I didn't sleep on. That y'all probably slept on hard body. These junks right here. <laughs> These junks right here is busting heads, nigga. Can I bleep that out? These junks right here busting heads. The look at look at the colorway. You got the dark brown. You got the like forest green. You got gray. You got like a maroon color. And the laces, like a off, some type of orange with the black. And of course they come with more laces. These are, y'all saw the sneakers out. These are real, you know what I'm saying? All authentic. We don't, we don't do no fake kicks over here, okay? We, we, we not, we not buying no, no cool grays. The ones that's a high commodity for 220 off no reseller. How you gonna make your money, dog? How you do you make your money, dog? All right, moving on. Are another one of my favorites. Why? Because of that. My favorite color, purple. So I got these kicks right here, the court purple ones. These right here, I got these was a restock on Nike. Um, I really, I was really trying for some other ones because I already, I got some purple, white, and black ones, but these just hit different too. I have never had these on. I've laced them, but I never put my foot in them. So there's gonna be some more kicks. I'm, I'm really. The reason why I ain't put my foot in a lot of these kicks is I got fits that I bought and I've been too thick to get in my fits. So <laughs> I've been losing weight, as you guys can tell probably, um, in my face, my neck, my mouth right here. Uh, I've been losing weight, so here soon, I'm gonna be in them. All right, so next, we got my beaters. I hate to call these beaters, but I promise you, this is my go-to. I don't care what I got on. If I gotta make a grocery store run, beat us. If I gotta make a gas station run, beat us. If I gotta come like anywhere, my beaters is going on. I'm gonna call these my beaters, but I love them. I love the kicks, man. I love the kicks, man. We are 40 minutes into this video. Um, well, 40, I can see 40 minutes, but it may not be at the 40 minute mark and I'm gonna edit it and chop it down some. But, love them. Love them, love them, love them. I love them, I love them, I love them. Now, ha! now before you cue dogs, come in my neck. I'm not a reseller, okay? I personally am not a reseller. Now I got some homies that I know that's legit. They actually hear raffles. They don't, they don't hit their plug and it's coming from Hong Kong and China and it's going through 12 airplanes before it get here. You know what I'm saying? I got the plug. As you can tell, brand new. I ain't, I ain't never, I ain't even laced them up. Now you cute dogs. Baby, it's, some, it's something about a new shoe smell, bro. It is something about a new shoe smell. I can't wait to put these on with the fit I got in mind. Brotherhood ones, my bad. Look at that. Y'all. I'm falling in love. I'm in love with a sneaker. E man, and you rolling, you rolling. My camera finna die. I'll be back in a minute. And we back. I'm really about to wrap this on up, but I got two, maybe three more pair of shoes I want to show you. I lied, both. All right, so the next pair I want to show y'all just came out. I ain't put my foot in these. It's just something about a new sneaker smell, bro. Now, I will say that I did not hit on these on the Nikes out, but there was a ram in the bush. Hmm. Hmm. There was a ram in the bush. So I got a homie, his name Brandon. He's probably going to be on this video. Smiley Sneakers, Mr. Raffle himself. Uh, we communicate a lot. And I've always told him, I said, before I, you know, before I get famous, you know, or before not even just get famous but before i get known out here in these streets you know what i'm saying before i get internationally known before i become a celebrity uh author you know before i become all these things i want to have some legitimate and loyal people by my side because i love kicks so 
we talk all the time. He's like, hey, put in for me on this size, put in for me on this size, sneakers, Nike, S and S, uh, uh, Soul Retriever. Y'all know if you're a sneakerhead, you know. So we be putting in, and I asked him. I said, I was trying to get these, and I said, can you put in for me on this on this size? And Nike app and sneakers just ain't been messing with me lately, huh? Hint, blink, blink. Anyways, lately they haven't really been messing with me. You know, if you use the apps, you know. Sometimes it's a hit and a miss, you know what I'm saying? So, I was trying to go for these. These and then the pandas. I've been trying for the... The pandas gonna restock a thousand times. And I still can't hit on them junks. Still. And I'm not paying that the retail for them. Alright? Anyway, so I asked him to shoot. And he shot. He won. I didn't. So, he sold them to me. And, um... Brandon, I appreciate you. You, you are legitimate. I trust you and of course I got the receipt for it it all came from Nike okay so this is not something where Billy Bob down the street selling me this shoe for $95 you know what I'm saying the retail 110 or 100 whatever it is I got so many ones that y'all don't slip on I got some other ones I don't want to show on camera because of the price tag and yeah if you know you know Dior Dior that's all I'm gonna say y'all slip on these too huh yep you ain't gotta lie. You don't have to lie. You slept on these, and I did not. I saw the colorway, and I said, Babo, need them? Ain't it, man? I would hate to get them shoes, ain't it, man? Sure was, man. Look at them. Killer. Killer. And I think these and the brown joints, I think they were releasing at the same time, and everybody was like, nah, I'ma pass, I'ma pass. Shoe. Not me. I hit on I hit on every single pair that people were passing on. All right, so for my last two, back let's rewind back to the story of me and my friend Vante going to um, Cali, and we had the mindset of the shoe that we wanted to get was not Air Force Ones. Okay, we can buy Air Force Ones anywhere. The shoe that we wanted to get to basically be a matching shoe because it's my homie, it's my friend, and. We both said we wanted a pair of Yeezys. I wanted the original Johnson, the black and red ones. Or the black and white ones, the original, original. Like they about to release the original, original, some of the original ones, like coming up in a couple of weeks, right? So it's like, I want some Yeezys, man. But I was not finna, I'll... y'all, I love Cool Kick. They was about to hook me up with some, um, the Michigan Dunks and then the Spartan Dunks. But they just didn't have my size. It was a ten and a half, and I wear nine or nine and a half in the dunks. Depends on how they fit. And um, I was just, I was like, ah, okay. So I had tried on the Yeezy, and I was like, ah, oh, yeah, this is it right here. And I looked at the dude. I said, how much are these? My man said eight hundred. I said, well, get this shoe off my foot right now. If I step in some spit, some slob, a piece of gum, a piece of paper. Please get it off my foot. I'm not spending $800 for no kicks. Mind you, one day I'll be able to go in Cool Kicks and be like, all right, let me get that, 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 and it won't even hurt my pockets. And I'm good to support. I support Cool Kicks because they, they got the authentic kicks. You know what I'm saying? They got some authentic shoes. Um, But them shoes was $800. And man, once they looked at each other, like, they nice. But they ain't $850, like, or $600, whatever. I think it was like $6. Maybe not eight. Maybe I'm exaggerating. But you gotta exaggerate to make the story feel like it's supposed to feel. I had spent some time looking. Uh, spent a lot of time looking online for when they're gonna re start releasing. And this just so happened to be the year that Yeezy decided that he wanted to, you know what I'm saying? Pop, pop, pop. Stop popping them out like hotcakes. And I had my mindset on, on two particular shoes. Two. Two particular shoes. Uh, the 350s as you guys can see and I wanted some I wanted the boots that he just released and I think it was I think it's 700 it's the whatever the ones is like kind of like gray orange or whatever I had my mindset on those I couldn't get those but I did get these niggas was busting heads y'all was busting heads for these guns bro Y'all was busting heads for these shoes, man. I went down to Memphis, Tennessee, and I got me some Yeezy. You dig what I'm talking about? I got these. Here come my mama. I entered in for the shoe. 
think it was at flip finish line finish line champ it was it was some places that were selling the shoe the actual shoe and i hit i hit i went down there picked up the shoe and was young my first pair of yeezys ever ever I've always wanted Yeezys from when they first came out, but they, they didn't even have strings back in the day on thing. They were just like black and white, whatever. This is what I wanted right here. So I got these. These are my baby. I, don't, I think I put my foot in these once just to see how they look on my feet. I got a fit for them too. So I got them. Then most recently, I wasn't even trying to hit for these. I was trying to hit for my boy, Brandon, but I put in for his size and then I had made me a whole new profile, right? Whole new profile and put in for my size. Brand new profile. That that just lets you know that it don't matter if your profile new or old or maybe it do matter. I don't know. So I got another pair of 350s. We call these the bone 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 bones. Bones 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 bones. Don't tell me what you gonna do. Y'all wanna see proof of these too? Hold on. Let me get my cell phone out. My confirmed out. This is how I get my shoes, people. Sneakers, finish line, SNS, Nike. That's how I get my shoes. I don't get my shoes any other way. I can tell you how to get them. I can tell you when to be on there. I can tell me how tell you how to set up your profile. All that. But you know what I'm saying? I, I can't even. Can't even. Boom. As you can see. And the up uh, the dazzling's on there too. Obviously, I still got boxes over here that I ain't even showed y'all yet. But I'm not gonna show y'all those. I told y'all those were my last two pair of shoes I was going to show y'all. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully within the next six months or next year, my collection will be even dumber than what it is now. Maybe I have some more rare uh, gems for y'all. I do have some, but I just for, I don't know, safety purposes and also for like pricing purposes, I decided to not put those on camera. But just know my, I haven't even put my foot in them. Uh, okay. I haven't done any of that so I just decided to not show those on camera for for those reasons but give me some time I'm gonna show those on camera when I get my you know get my stuff together have my own my own room with just nothing but kicks all right anyways thank you guys for coming back for today's video if you guys like videos like this where I, I show off like a collection I have a lot of things so if you guys name something I probably have it I don't got no cars and like that but I can tell you what kind of car I want that's it for today's video make sure you go ahead and comment like share and subscribe make sure y'all come back tomorrow or the next day for another video come on well I'm done now y'all my mama keeping up so much noise in the back girl <laughs> but Make sure y'all stay tuned for tomorrow or the next day. I'm, I'm trying to drop drop these vlogs for y'all back to back to back because somebody told me that I need to drop them back to back to back. 